What if I had three minutes to change the world? Now, before you start to think it's just another girl with her silly dreams, please do not close your eyes and ears, but listen to me, because I only have three minutes to change the world. Well, possibly four. And I know you're probably thinking, what can I do in three minutes that you haven't done in the years before? Well, you see, we tend to put what if and change in the same sentence, almost as if it were a dream. And that's what it seems, like it's a possibility that's too far to reach. And then we start saying things like, we tried everything to achieve change. For instance, putting people's pain and suffering on TV. And then we lie back wondering why people still ignore hunger, poverty, and racism. And notice I didn't say we lie back in our beautiful homes, or we lie back in our big offices, or we lie back in the comfort of heat and family. I didn't say this because we don't need that one politician, that one rich person, that one wealthy family. We don't need a complex solution. You don't take a kid suffering from starvation and say, here, take this 40-pound steak, go eat. He's just going to do what the world has done to us every time we offer change a complex solution. Throw it up in our face. Harsh, I know, but we've pushed change too far as we watch natural disasters tear apart homes and families, always thinking change is just too far to reach. If there's still something that's in us that hungers, that thirsts, that desires after change, so we continue the pursuit, the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of something different, the pursuit of something non-existent but it's like running a race. And in the beginning, thinking you're gonna lose. The outcome, defeat. So we have to change our equation now from what if change a dream and make it a reality. So how, I know you're probably wondering, am I supposed to change the world in three minutes, possibly four? Well, I'll show you how I took the equation what if and I changed it. Yes, I was the girl who said, what if my body was like that on TV? Yes, I was the girl who said, what if everyone could just like me? What if my hair were longer, my feet smaller, my voice higher? What if the tone of my skin was lighter? What if I was the definition of pretty? Like all those models on TV, I continue to say what if about myself until I realize I am not ugly. But society, well, it is. So I went into my closet, reached past the stilettos, grabbed the dirty sneakers, put on my favorite jeans, looked in the mirror and said, I am beautiful. Walked out the door and made it a reality. And if you still don't understand what I'm trying to say, I'll try to present it to you in another way. Hmm. You see, what if time was of the essence and enforcing change wasn't my message and poetry wasn't my passage to infiltrate, motivate all young people's minds? And you'd be amazed to see what I'd find when I spit these words. Excuse me, I mean when I pronounce these adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. You see, all I want to do is change the world. And if I could have a simple conversation with you that would give you the motivation to keep trying, well, baby, that's when we start living a little more than surviving. I mean dying. I mean all we have to do is do things like listen to our youth. They're our future. So watch them work as I peel back the cover on their true words, what if? What if mom and dad weren't gone no more? What if? What if these stereotypes never hit the top but stayed on the floor? What if? What if my education was free? And I don't mean given to me, but safely, securely. Someone believed and I could have a dream of what if speech saying one day I'd be on the stage doing poetry. One day I'd be able to scream at the top of my lungs and no one would assume that I'm angry. One day I'd be able to say, yes, that's me. And ignorance and bliss is not the key. One day I'd be able to say, what if I had three minutes to change the world? I'd stand in front of hundreds of people and tell them not to change the world, but to change themselves. Common sense, yes? No. Because I learned a long time ago that common sense really isn't common at all. But anyways, the message would still go through and they would understand that what I stand for is true. And in three minutes, no, four, I would have changed the world. It would have been like a fairy tale, like a dream come true, almost like a myth. But I guess it's only just what if. <laughs> But what if?